Hello students, my name is Shraddha Tone from Computer Engineering Department. Welcome to the series of Introduction to Microprocessor and Microcontroller. So in this series, we will discuss about some facts related microprocessor, microcontroller, the block diagram of microprocessor and microcontroller, as well as the features of microcontroller, its applications and difference between the microprocessor and microcontroller. So let's start with the basic of microprocessors. So we will discuss about what is the microprocessor. So basically the microprocessor we can say that it is a computer processor where the data processing logic and control is included on the single integrated circuit or small number of ICs. So the microprocessor contain the arithmetic and logical unit, control unit, its circuitry required to perform the functions of central processing units. So this figure shows the simplified block diagram of the microprocessors. As shown in this figure, it consists of arithmetic and logical unit, general purpose units, then we call it as a general purpose registers, then stack pointer, program counter, accumulator, then clock timing circuits and interrupt circuits. So to make a complete micro computer system, only microprocessor is not sufficient. It is necessary to add other peripheral such as read-only memory, that is we call it as a ROM, read-write memory, RAM, decoders, drivers, number of input-output devices to make a complete microcomputer system. In addition, special purpose devices such as interrupt controller, programmable timers, programmable input-output devices, DMA controller, may be added to improve the capacity and performance and flexibility of microcomputer systems. So the key features of microprocessor based computer system is that it is possible to design a system with a great flexibility. It is possible to configure a system as a large system or a small system by adding suitable peripherals. On the other hand, Microcontroller incorporates all the features that found in microprocessors. However, it has also added features to make a complete microcomputer system on its own. So the microcontroller has built-in ROM, RAM, parallel input-output, serial input-output, counters, and clock circuit. So, this figure shows it's a simplified block diagram of microcontroller. So what is basic, the meaning of microcontroller is, we can say that a control device which incorporates a microprocessor means a microcontroller is a small computer on a single VLSI integrated circuit. A microcontroller contains one or more CPUs along with memory and programmable input-output peripherals. So as shown in this figure, the microcontroller has on-chip built-in, on-chip means built-in peripheral devices and these on-chip peripheral make it possible to have single chip microcomputer system. So there are few more advantages of built-in peripherals. Built-in peripherals have smaller access times case speed is more. Next advantage we can say that hardware reduces due to single chip microcomputer system. Then less hardware reduces PCB size and increases reliability of the system. So this is about the basics of microprocessor and microcontroller with this block diagram. Thank you.